Hey y'all, let's head in Goodwill and check out some shoes and handbags. The shoe racks at this Goodwill are always overflowing and the quality is always top notch. So I always scope it out every time I'm in the area. Right off the bat, here's some Timberland boots and check out these eggplant purple church shoes. Patent leather and these are so fly. <laughs> Next, I found some beautiful Ugg boots. Unfortunately, they were U-size and Goodwill wanted $10 for them. They were in gorgeous condition, but if I sold them online, I just didn't know that I'd be able to make a large enough profit to make it worth my while. I was trying to tell what the brand was on these rubber boots, but I couldn't tell and it was hard to film and look for a brand at the same time. So I decided I didn't need them and I passed. And then I found these boots and everybody knows what that symbol is on the bottom of that one. These are Doc Martens. I absolutely love the style and they're only $6.99. And they're my size. I later realized that the leather toes are separating from the rubber soles, but that's an easy fix and I'm excited that I found those. I've mentioned before in previous videos that Keen is a hot seller for me in my eBay and Poshmark stores. So when I saw these, the bright colors, the excellent condition, I threw them in my buggy immediately. Look at this rack. This is what I was talking about, the inventory. There's so many shoes and oftentimes they don't have matches. So it's like a big game trying to find pairs that actually go together. This pair right here are Saludos Espadrille flats. If you're not familiar with this brand, they're very comfortable slide on shoes and they're typically embroidered um, with very quirky sayings and different images. Um, this pair was just a plain one and I liked them, but I decided to pass. Check out this pair of Tevas. They are size eight women's and they were in flawless condition. So I threw those in the buggy. These were interesting and they looked expensive. They were velvety textured material and they were floral print. So they definitely caught my attention. Um, these guys right here are Jack Rogers. I love Jack Rogers. They're a very preppy brand and they're very expensive, but they just don't resell well. This bright blue color caught my eye. They're for little munchkin feet. Unfortunately, I thought they were Tevas or something expensive. They're not, so just passed and put those back on the rack. How? fabulous are these look at the feathers around the ankle of these shoes i just thought these were divine a classic pair of adidas and then a whole bunch of stuff on the racks and then i found these what valentinos for 12.99 so I probably should have gotten them, but I didn't. And here's why. I'm not 100% sure they're authentic. Also, Goodwill used a Sharpie marker to write $12.99 on the bottom. The heel had chunks bitten out of it because someone just abused them. I'm trying to be super selective with the inventory that I'm sourcing, especially shoes because I have so many. And I don't want to pay additional money to have something authenticated. And I don't accidentally want to sell something that is counterfeit. But they may have been authentic. Rewind the video and let me know your thoughts. I consider the sit down stool to try shoes on the curated pile of rejects that people <laughs> decided not to buy. So always look at the sit down stool in the fitting rooms because you never know what people leave behind. Aside from the Valentinos, these were my other favorite finds of the day. These shoes are amazing and they're only $12.99. They're Nike Tom Sachs Mars Yard 2.0s and they're selling online for so much money. Check out some of these comps. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of Tom sneakers, but they have a cult following and this print was wild. I love anything with a Hawaiian print. These are some awesome K-Swiss dad sneakers. They had a lot of sneakers today and typically that's the area that gets picked over the fastest.
Check out these glittery Sperry's. Do people still wear these? I found so many pairs of them today. I was drawn to the neon color of these and these boots looked expensive. Look what I found. I buy these every time I find them and I was so glad that these were in such excellent condition. These are rifle paper Keds and they were only $5. They didn't have a tag on them, but the lady rang them up for $4.99. So this was a steal. And these are the other pair of Sperry's that I found. They look like they're for Belle or Cinderella or some sort of Disney character. These little pineapple sandals were just absolutely adorable. I think they were just Carter's. I couldn't see the brand, but they were just too cute. Wanted to share them. And one final glance over the racks through the sneakers, checking out all the shoes before I move over to the handbags. I love this tiny little bag. I love the pattern. I love that it's handmade. It's just my vibe. Unfortunately, it did feel a little cheap and it wasn't worth five bucks, so I passed. I have a tendency to carry way too much junk in a huge handbag, so I've been downsizing and trying to carry small bags whenever possible. So at the thrift store especially, I try looking for little cute bags that can help me foster better habits on the cheap. Unfortunately today, none of these bags were meeting my standards. Oh, but you're cute. Actually, these last three bags right here on the end were cute, but I just don't think that the resale value online would be high enough for me to be worth my investment. And this red pleather thing, kind of awesome. And then there's this baddie. When I saw this from across the room, I nearly fell. It is such a showstopper. The colors on this, the flowers, the animals, everything. It reminds me of like Farm Rio or some sort of awesome anthropology dress. It's amazing. It's Vera Bradley Tavern on the Green. Perfect condition. I absolutely love it. I bought it for $10.09. It's a 90s retired print, and it's absolutely amazing. I should have gotten this bag, too. This is a 90s retro bag, and I absolutely loved it. I'm a sucker for tapestry, but I left this one behind. Scope the shoes and bags and the rest of the store on my way home to show you what I got. So I'm home from thrifting to watch my entire thrift and the haul of everything that I purchased. Check out my previous videos. Since this video is just purses and shoes, these are the shoes that I purchased today. Going off on the lower right with these Keens. They say that they're a US size six, but they're a Euro 38. I wear a women's size eight and they fit me perfectly. Actually a little wiggle room to spare. Moving along to these Tevas. They're also a women's size eight brand new condition. These are rifle paper Keds. A women's six and a half. These are Doc Martens, a US six, a Euro 37. Again, I wear an eight and they fit me like a glove. As I mentioned earlier, they definitely need a little TLC, but they were absolutely worth $6.99 and whatever few bucks I need to invest in them to bring them back to life. And last but certainly not least, my favorite Nikes, these Tom Sachs Mars Yard 2.0s that are absolutely phenomenal. These Rockstars cost me $12.99. They're a men's size 9.5 and, and a Euro size 43. They look like they've never been worn. They're practically brand new and I cannot believe they were donated. So happy to have found these as I am all of the pairs of shoes that I bought today. I did also purchase the Vera Bradley garment bag, but that wraps it up for shoes and handbags. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.